Okay, this is the tutorial for the card cheat by The Clash. I'm playing it in B, uh, just because, well, there, there's two ways to do it. The recording is actually, it's either B, but it's sharp, or it's C, but it's flat. It's kind of in between these here. I like playing it in B just because it's a little more challenging. And uh, I just like playing the black keys for some reason. But I'll also show how to play it in C in another video. Uh, it's a little easier. You're all you're doing all the white keys, but this is for it in B. Okay. Uh, first off, you're gonna start in the left hand with a B octave and a G flat. Right hand is a E flat, G flat, B. This chord here, you just hit it once. Before you going back to the B, that's a G flat, D flat, or I'm sorry, D flat, A flat, D flat. Right hand is an E, uh, A flat, D flat. Right hand, uh, or actually, it all stays the same. You just go down here to a. Uh, Uh, you're doing the same exact thing, except you're just playing a regular B octave in the left hand, and then a D flat octave in the left hand. And then go back. Uh, sorry. Uh, after you do that twice, next in the left hand is a E, B, E. Right hand is an A flat, B, E. And before going to the next chord, just hit an E flat and then a D flat. In the right hand. Next chord, you go back to a B, except that's the same B we played in the beginning, except you're going to add a D flat. Just for the first time you hit it. Second time, make and uh, replace the D flat with an E flat. So it sounds like. And then just go back to the regular B and do what you did with uh, the other chord and just add two more notes right before going to the next chord. Those two notes are B flat and A flat. Next chord, all black keys, all flats. Right hand is a, or left hand is a G flat, D flat, G flat. Right hand is a B flat, D flat, G flat. So, uh, next chord, uh, this part goes. First chord, first chord of that part, left hand is an E octave with a B, right hand is a A flat, B, E. Left hand, uh, just drop it down to an E flat octave. Right hand, bring your thumb down to a G flat, keep your pointer on the B, but play an E flat at the same time. sounds like. Uh, next chord, left hand drops down again to a D flat. Right hand this time plays an A flat, B, D flat. And then come back to this chord. And then you can start over. Not from the beginning with the octaves down here. Just uh, play this. And we're pretty much going to stay on this chord. Here's how you do it. This is fun because you get to climb up to like the really high notes here. And uh, it's fun to play up there. After you do that, keep your left hand on this B here for the rest of the time. Your right hand is just going to climb up in octaves. Uh, and you're just doing different inversions. 
Um, and what that means is this B here that you're playing, uh, E flat, G flat, B. You're just gonna take this E flat and play it up here instead. That's the same thing with this chord. You take this and play it up here. And you just do that all the way till you get to this chord, uh, you know, E flat, G flat, B, but you're playing it an octave higher. So, and the left hand just stays the same, except for the first time you go uh, from here on out, we're still playing the B in the left hand. Now we're taking this note and playing it up here. Now what you can do is uh, play what we did before. Um, this time you can play the E, B, E, all the way up here if you want. there's a, an instrumental where it's just the piano playing. If you want to, if you want to play that part, uh, just play the whole song, uh, play what we did, just what, blah, blah, blah. play what I just showed you, but keep your right hand way up high in the octave, so it sounds like. play around, you just hit the B, and then uh, you just kind of play with it, and you can add the, you can add a B flat and an E flat, I know I hear in there. He's just kind of playing around, but I know I hear those two notes, so. And you just kind of fade out, and that's how to play the cart sheet.